In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a retro style grid in After Effects without using a single plugin. Let's jump to the tutorial. Let's begin by creating a new composition. I'll name it Render 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second and 10 seconds for the duration. Click OK. Then we need to create a new solid layer. So go to Layer, New Solid. For the dimensions of the solid, use 4000 pixels by 4000. And you can also name this one Grid and click OK. After that, head over to the Effects and Presets window and search for Grid Effect and add it to the Grid Solid layer that we've just created. Then go to the Effect Controls and set Size from 2 with Slider and then Set Width to 300. Also set Border to 10. Then we need to make our solid a 3D layer and for that we need to check this box. If you don't see the column, click on Toggle Switches and Modes until you do and then check the 3D for our solid. Then select the solid layer and press R for rotation, set X rotation to 90 degrees. Then select the solid again, press P for position. Then increase the Y position to something like 900 to bring the solid layer down. Now to get rid of the sharp and clean edge at the end of the grid, we can use gradient ramp. So search for gradient ramp and add it to the grid layer. You might need to swap the colors depending on the rotation values you've used. So just click on swap colors button. And that gives us a very soft and fading edge at the end of the grid. After that, make sure you are at the beginning of the timeline and create a keyframe for anchor for the grid effect at 2000 by 2000. Then go all the way to the end of the timeline and set Y position for the anchor to be 200. And I've played around with the values and this gives you the perfect loop. And if we play this from the, from the end, you can see we don't notice the point where it starts playing over again. So here we have a perfect seamless loop. Now let's go to layer, new adjustment layer, then go to the effects and presets window and search for mirror effect, add it to the adjustment layer, then go to the effect controls and set reflection angle to 270 degrees or negative 90 degrees, the same thing. As you can see that gives us the, the perfect reflection of our grid at the top of the composition. Then let's create a second adjustment layer by going to layer, new adjustment layer. We go to effects and presets and search for tint that is to change the color of our grid so you can map white to any color of your choice so i'm just gonna go with some like light blue for the example then search for glow effect and add it to the second adjustment layer select the glow effect and press ctrl d to duplicate it and for the second glow let's set the glow radius to be 100. Now our grid layers have a slight glow to them and to put everything together we're going to add noise. Search for noise and add it to the second adjustment layer. Set amount of noise to 12% and then check use color noise. And this helps blend everything together. Now we're going to add another adjustment layer. Go to layer new adjustment layer. Then go to effects and presets and search for optics compensation. Add it to the top the third adjustment layer. And uh, let's check the reverse lens distortion and increase the field of view to maybe 60. And you can see what that does to the image and kind of nicely distorts it and stretches it. So this step is optional, but I think it looks really cool. So it could be a really cool addition. Now let's add some particles to our scenes. Go to layer new solid. And for the width, we're going to use 1920 by 1080. And you can name this one stars if you like to. And go for the white color and click OK. Then make sure star solid layers below all adjustment layers. Then go to the effects and presets window and search for CC star burst, add it to the star solid layer. Then head over to the effect control, set scatter to 400, speed to 0.1, leave grid spacing at 4 and size to 20. And make sure you set the speed to 0.1, otherwise particles will flow really quickly. And by setting them to 0.1, you can see how slowly they flow. And at this point, you can add text or anything of your choice to the composition. I hope you found this retro grid tutorial useful and learned something new. If you did, do not forget to leave a like. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.